Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the third episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 3. So, here I'm just outside of Megaton. I'm trying to get my way up to 1,000 uh, caps. Actually, I guess I can afford it, probably. Looking to trade? Yes. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Oh, I guess I, he has just barely enough that I should be able to push over. Um, my hunting rifle is almost busted, so I'm going to sell it. See, what else can I sell? Again, I forgot to put on my trader outfit first. Oh, well. Um, now, the problem with a lot of drugs in the, in the game is that they're addictive. And dealing with addiction is not all that fun. So I just tend to sell them rather than to use them. So this gets me most of what I need. I'm going to keep a hold of some of this stuff. Uh, I guess I can get another sensor module later. And, um, hmm. What else can I sell? I guess I can sell some frag mines. Which gets me over a thousand. Thanks. Okay, so... For this... Now, somewhere in here, I don't quite remember where... Oh, my character's alignment is good, so I actually need to steal some stuff somewhere in order to get my karma down to do what I want to do. But what I'm going to do is make my way down to s a place called the Robco facility, which I think is somewhere around here. Hopefully I'll be able to get my karma down to neutral by that point, because there's a companion that you can hire only if you have uh, neutral karma. Yeah, there are a few c companions that you can only hire if you have bad karma or good karma. I've never hired this particular companion before, so I'm kind of curious just to see what it would be like to have uh, him along. I guess the word, uh, him is not exactly the most appropriate word because it's a robot, but you can buy a robot for a thousand karma. It's a sentient robot with neutral karma. So one of the neat things about Fallout 3 is that it's, ooh. Oh, I'll let dog meat take care of that. It's not really worth my ammo. Is there another one? No, good. Plus, that's not a great weapon to use right now. This should do. Yeah, the, the game has all sorts of objectives that you can uh, either choose to do or not to do. It's, it's an open sandbox type game, and I tend to find games like that to be a lot of fun. Fallout was a great game because of that. Oh, that's interesting. So a telephone pole fell over. It broke and it fell. Neat. And I think there are some foes nearby. Ah. And there they are. So I'm gonna actually bring out bring back out the sniper rifle. Cause it, oh Okay, that's one down. I know that there are more nearby. Where are they? Ah, there we go. I just want the nice things about... You get down. Getting a little bit low on ammo. Need to reload. Okay. Those guys are dead. I didn't take too much damage. Again, this is one of the fun things about the uh, sniper rifle. You can deal with your problems from a long way away, and they won't usually have much of a chance to do you a lot of damage on the way. Yep. Okay. 
And I thought that there might have been another foe left nearby. I guess not. Am I aiming for the right place? The Robco faculty is... Oh. Hmm. Well, there are things over there. I guess while I'm nearby, I'm going to pedal the rest of the way over here and just learn this stuff from my map. Because chances are if you find someplace interesting, there's at least... A Ooh. Uh, I see somebody over there. What's going on? They are fighting something. Well, they're fighting the Enclave of Ibot, but they themselves are friendly. Okay. I'll, I'll let them... Uh, ah. I'm actually going to try and stay away from the, uh, from the Ibots. Oh, so these are a rebel faction known as the Brother Brotherhood Outcasts. Now, if they should happen to kill the Brotherhood Outcast, and for some reason the Brotherhood Outcast isn't firing back, then I can uh, snag some of the, the gear from the Brotherhood, which would be nice. Because I don't want to actually piss off the Brotherhood, or the Brotherhood Outcasts. So it would just be really damned good luck if they end up wiping some of these guys out. Because it would give me uh, quite a lot of funds. Aha. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Well, that was really nice luck. Let me see what I can do to reduce my weight so that I won't have to... Uh oh, and I'm going to... Well, I can't actually back off so I'm a little bit worried that this is going to trigger the YouTube content detector uh, content detector stuff. But, let's see. Is it going to wipe out that other Brotherhood Outcast for me? That really would be pretty sweet. I mean, it would be even better if the Brotherhood Outcast had some weapons that I wanted to use. But... Either way, uh, I still end up way in the win for this. Oh, nope. Well, let's say hi to this guy. Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? Okay, well. And this is... Along, please. Also, it was the Protectron that was fighting that, uh, the iBot. And the Brotherhood dude, for some reason, wasn't using his weapons. Well, that is amusing and weird. Anyhow, I will just head the rest of the way over here and learn this area, and then I will continue along to where I want to be to see if I can figure out a way to hire that companion. Uh, what is going on here, though? I don't really remember this area. Oh. Uh, there's something... Oh! I'm sorry. Yeah, you can be sorry or you want. You did shoot at me. Ah, uh, darn it. Come on. Well, you should not have fired a gun at me then, dude. Somebody is still firing at me. Let's see. <laughs> uh, 
And I'm still above the weight that I need to be to move naturally. Oh no, there we go. And there we go. And I'm injured. So I need a stim pack. Oh, there's a... Uh, did not see that. Takes care of him. And how are you doing, dog meat? You're still doing okay. Good. Did not mean to hit dog me. Okay. Yeah, so this is nice because as usual when you're fighting raiders you can loot their stuff and you usually end up well ahead. Or at least you can end up well ahead. Okay, that should take care of that. Well, ahead in value, although you might not end up ahead in, in actual ammo. Because... Oh, oh! Okay. I guess having a tire iron would be kind of handy. Okay, so... No, I'm getting a little bit shy on, uh, on well, shoot, I can't actually carry everything. That's fine. Fortunately, I did learn the area. And that should be good enough for me to come back if and when I want to. Is there any... Ooh, there are a bunch of other raiders up ahead, I think. Um, let's see if I can... I well, got one of them. Looks like dog meat is gonna. Let's take out. Okay, that's one less. But I think I saw another. Somewhere around here. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't actually see him right now. Oh, wait, there we go. So he's hiding behind that building, I think. And there's a subway entrance here. So yeah, throughout the game, there are a bunch of subways that y uh, you can find, that, that you can pop into that are good for rapid transit between areas. And they'll take you to areas where y you won't be able to easily reach them other way, uh, otherwise. Okay, so the guy r is really behind this building. Hmm. What is going on over here? Ooh, hello. Fun. Get a fix for my flamer. Fix this Chinese pistol up a bit. Looking good.
Okay, so where was I going? I was going this way. Uh, I guess I'm gonna leave that, that dude alone now. I wonder how much of a diversion I actually made from where I want to go. Probably quite a bit of a diversion. Let's see. Is that somewhere to be? Well, it's not marked on the map. It probably has an inside. Uh, and there's another iBot. Okay, a gate. Let's just peek in to see if there's anything we might want in here. Nope. Okay. Oh, and there is an iBot being killed by an ant. Get him, dog meat. Okay. Car dealership. I don't know if I've been in this in any of my previous runs in the game. It's not some place I am familiar with. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this is this is some place I've never been. And that that's actually part of the fun of games like this. You in later playthroughs you might easily find places that you've never uh, never seen before. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything interesting there, but but just the, the novelty is kind of nice. Okay. Oh, come on. The jump Jumping is a little bit wonky in this game. And like way too many games like this, you cannot rely on being able to uh, climb up over stuff. Okay, there we go. Up and over. Is this anything to pick up? No. But that is... See if there's anything in here. Nope. Uh, nothing particularly interesting in here or the desk. Um, I wonder what this place would have been like uh, pre-war. Seems like a pretty cozy little place. Although I imagine this was probably always full of clients and stuff like that. Well, I guess that's it. Not a lot to do in here. Except that skill book was kind of nice. Always happy to get those. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, this isn't, uh... Oh. Oh, that guy was just a hunter. Okay. So I'll switch back to the hunting rifle for now. Because it's a pretty nice compromise between, uh... Who killed him? It was... Oh! Something with lasers. And a locked gate. Let's see if I can get this open. Maybe a little bit to the right. Okay. Wait, why are you firing at me? Oh, it's an Enclave sh soldier. Well, that's no good. Actually, I'm at pretty serious risk of getting killed here, because... Oh. Huh. Nice. I apparently had enough ammo to take care of that. And I could take his armor off. Which one is worth more? Oh, I can't repair them with each other? Well, that is a problem. Since if I actually want to sell these... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get, get the weight down enough to do that. I... Which is a pity, because this stuff... It's worth a lot, but it's just way too heavy to carry. 
And am I by any chance near enough that I can walk all the way there? Fairfax Ruins. No. Although I am kind of near Fort Independence. It's just a little bit west of here. Um, can dog meat carry stuff? Many of your other companions... Uh, no. Many of your other companions, you can ask them to carry stuff for you. But apparently you can't ask a, a dog to do that, because that would just be kind of mean. Well, the Enclave Power Armor, can't put it on because you need training to wear that armor. Can I get my weight down by dropping other stuff? 15 pounds, can lose 15 easily, uh, 18, problem is I need to lose 53. I just don't see that happening. Okay, well what I'm going to do then... So I'm going to get up on the road to uh, so that I can find this stuff and maybe swing by and pick it up later if it if it lasts, which it probably won't. But but yeah, picking it up later seems pretty sensible. Okay, 128, 187. So I'll drop the power armor. And, uh, so I'll have eight more pounds to drop. Not gonna drop the flamer. Nor the laser rifle, but I don't mind dropping the tire iron, because it's not worth a lot. Or the knife. I still have four pounds to drop. I guess dropping that, that won't be too bad. Okay. So where are we? We're coming up on, on Fairfax Ruins, but we want to go west of Fairfax Ruins. And west of Fairfax Ruins is a place called Fort Independence, which is actually where um, the outcasts live. And you can trade them technologies and they'll give you grenades and other stuff for it, which is pretty nice. I think I just saw something fly up into there and drop over there, which is a little bit weird. Is there anything in here? Nothing worth having. Let's keep on moving. Fort Independence. Right down there, I guess. Yes. Looking good. Keep your head down, idiot. Oh yeah, you need to help them ag with against some some raver uh raiders, not ravers. So let's get out this hunting rifle. lock pick up a little bit. Small guns, explosives, and uh, oh, let's bump our barter up a little bit more. See what else can we do. Ah, yeah, educated is a fantastic perk. And did we pick up anything that we can reduce? Yes, we did. And over here, how about this guy? Yeah, I believe we can probably... Yeah. If you're going to get yourself... I don't want... Defender Anne-Marie Morgan with the outcasts. But all you... We call it... And before... 
We don't rec you Okay. Okay. So here you, you can trade all sorts of stuff for grenades and stuff, but this guy is just going to mosey slowly on over here to actually talk to me and take the technology that I decide to, to hand him. Oh, I thought I had some tea. Apparently I don't. Come on, dude. Hurry up. Dude, come on. Games like this are slow-paced enough without needing to wait for people to walk. I mean, in some circumstances you even end up uh, pushing NPCs. Okay. I'm Protector Henry Kent. Normally, so that's what your report. I'm sure you just found it. Now let. This is some pretty heavy-duty stuff. Now, be careful. We can. Okay, yeah, so you can chat. Oh, chat with him a little bit. You got some grenades. Okay, now we're gonna mosey on over back to the Fairfax ruins to see if we can head back west, I believe, to pick that stuff back up. Or, uh, no, east. My bad. East. I'm still kind of high on, on weight right now, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, he just took the armor. He didn't give me anything for it. Well, that sucks. Would have been nice to have gotten some caps for it, but... Oh, well. Uh, swing back over here. Grab that armor. If it's, if it's still around. Kind of wish that the game had a run command. And uh, if it is still around... We swing back and trade it, if we can. And it is. Cool. Enclave power armor. Can get back this stuff. Okay. Head back over to Fort Independence to talk to the out, uh, Enclave Outcasts. Uh. Well, look who... Well, I'll be damned. The advanced pa no. And I'll take some more frag grenades. Oh, he'll take scrap metal too. Well, yeah. some more stim packs are always helpful. Cool. So that should be good. And I'm gonna save the game just because we've done a few things and it's good to... Okay. Now at this point I should have a decent stock of frag grenades. 24. Yeah, and I've made the effort to get, get my skills up to pretty decent with explosives. Oh, what is that? That is an animal of some kind. Oh, that's a... That is a mole rat. And I'll let dog meat finish it off. In order to get experience for a kill, I think you need to do a certain percentage of the damage. Um, th uh, of the damage needed to uh, to perform the kill. So you c the last shot isn't what counts. You just have to hurt it uh, enough. I'm not sure exactly what that number is. But usually y you want to hurt it and let your companions finish it off or vice versa. Put our gun away. Let's see, are there any foes nearby? There is a foe somewhere over here. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's just a dog. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Well, 
But I guess Dogmeat is probably going to fight it. Fortunately, Dogmeat is tougher than than those guys, so you sh generally are fine just letting Dogmeat take care of minor threats. Particularly the threats which you don't want to waste ammo on. I th Whoa! Dogmeat? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I think he's... I, I, I was worried that he was being hurt by something, but it looks like he was just having a tough time making it across some landscape. There's something over here now. Oh! Did not see you. And I did not want to hang around and, and wait for dog meat to... Uh, take care of it. Unfortunately, it sounds like dog meat has detected... S oh! D did not see you. But now I do. Well, there's... So apparently the Protectrons were security robots from before the war. Energy cell and scrap metal. Energy cells are, incidentally, their ammo for uh, for uh, energy weapons. I, d I did s allocate my skills so that at some point I should be able to use energy weapons. But oh, there is another one of these guys, and it's hostile. It's always nice when when they're not hostile. Oh, 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 almost died. Anyhow, somewhere around here, I think is the guy who you can buy that robot companion from. Yes. Somewhere around here. But I don't see him right now. I'm sure that he's outside though. And I should be able to see him on my little radar map thingy. Although I don't think he's going to sell me the companion immediately. Oh, there he is. I need to get my karma down somehow. But it can't hurt to try. I'll at least say hello. Another glorious day in this man's hello, stranger! I'm afraid these bots are... Well, RL3... Okay. Well, I can at least sell him some junk. And when I get back, hopefully I can sell him... Uh, hopefully I can buy that, uh, that robot from him. So I guess, oh well, this is some place I've, I've I meant to visit anyhow. Tenpenny Tower. But yeah, I, d I do have the caps to buy that robot. And I think this would probably be a pretty decent place to lower my karma enough 
where I could manage to buy the robot, if I can find my way to the entrance. Ah, good. You can tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Charmed, I'm sure. What are you looking at? I'm really not in the mood, so leave me alone. I thought I told you. Welcome to Ten Pin. I'm not here for your entertainment. So this is a tower in the game where um where a bunch of rich people live. And they uh they apparently don't allow ghouls in who are humans who have been irradiated and it's messed up their skin but kept them alive for a super long time. So there are some quests relating My to that. Name is Tiffany Ch Do you what? Hmm. I'm... Oh, fine. We'll have to share... Don't suppose you... Oh. Okay. So... Let's see. My... Alignment is listed there. I'm good and a defender. So I'm going to steal some stuff to try and get it down to neutral. Uh, oh, apparently dog meat has the ability to open doors. Great. Okay, is that enough? No. I do not have the skill to open this, nor that. And I'm picking up a whole bunch of junk. Am I still good? Yes. Well, shoot. I'm not sure actually how how aligned my character is. I might not really have an easy time stealing enough to do this, but I'll give it a try. Uh, all this stuff is in good enough condition that I'm not going to be able to reduce its weight by fixing it with the rest. Oh, shoot. Um... I think that was the bathroom. Oh, yeah, this is a maintenance area. Nothing to steal here. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Uh, 
Um. Interesting. Well, hopefully it won't be too much work to steal everything I want to steal. You're hanging out here to stop me from taking all this stuff. Well, let's see. Not a lot to take here. Hey. Hello. Yeah, that is one of the problems if you have such an active alignment system in the game and you tie companions to it, and that I, I think there's probably a, a, a style of play where you just try and steal everything that's not nailed down. But I've never I've, I always try and put myself a little bit more into uh into games uh, like this. And that means I'm, I'm not entirely comfortable with uh, with playing that way. Am I still neutral? Sweet. Okay, that's what I want. Unfortunately, this I'm also burdened with a lot of junk right now, but that is okay. Now I'm going to mosey on back to the Robco facility and find that guy and hire him. Remember me? Of course you. And it comes comp to tell the truth. General Atomics programmed the Mr. So I'll just transfer the codes. How may I serve you, mistress? Salutations, Commander. Sergeant RL3, Gutsy Class, Robotic Soldier, reporting for duty. Move along, please. Cool. So, I now have a robot companion and a dog companion. And that is enough for me to head back to Megaton and drop off my stuff. Hello? You want something? And now I'm free to get positive karma. So, I'm going to try and disarm the bomb that's in the center of town. And I'm going to head back up and let the mayor slash sheriff know that I've disarmed the bomb. I'll be damned. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell. Oh, and talk with Moira. Yeah, you need something. And that should give me some nicely positive karma. And now I should be able to slip in and... Don't even think of breaking into that. Well, maybe not. I thought that, that it was going to unlock that door. Anyhow, uh, as a reward for disabling the bomb, I've been given a house. And this means I can drop stuff off that I don't really want to be carrying around. And there are a lot of just neat mementos that you can pick up in the game. And being a, an occasionally sentimental person that I am, I don't really want to get rid of them. But I also don't want to be stuck with their weight. Some of them are also just useful uh, components for uh, doing stuff later or their quest items stuff like that. But basically at this point in the game you want to drop off everything that you don't really want to have with you all the time. 
We can also... Very nice to make you look quick. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic bun. I am here... War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Wah, 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 wah. Anyhow, that's good enough for that. And you can also take a rest, which restores your health, which is Welcome cool. Home, and let's, let's head back outside. And now we're actually going to try and make some progress on uh, on this quest. And I'm going to just quickly fast travel out to Springdale just because it's outside of town and it can take you some time to uh, to actually uh, get out of town when you're inside. That is to say, I am the voice, heart, and soul. Oh yeah, I think I already looted that. So, in this companion, uh, or in this game, your companions can die. So you have to take a little bit of care with them. Uh, in Fallout 3, unless you're playing in hard mode, your companions can't die. Uh, th if they're, uh, if they take enough damage, they'll be knocked over and then they'll be ignored by enemies. And eventually they'll get back up again. Uh, but in this game, they're fragile. So if, if they get killed and if you care about them, you're going to reload from a save or you'll just have to find a new companion. Now there are some companions that are almost invulnerable. Really, really tough. I don't think... Now dog meat is, is quite tough. He's my dog. R03, I am not sure how tough he is. But dog meat also has the unusual characteristic that if he dies, there's a perk that you can get which will give you one of his puppies, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so I think this is the march that Moira wanted me to explore and get some stuff from. Probably. But it, it is, if I remember correctly, full of raiders. And if you step into there, y you are going to find find yourself ca causing a celebration. Okay, that's really, really terrible. Okay, well, let's see if I can knock those guys out from here. You do not want to get near one of those cars when it catches on fire. Because the results are not pretty. Okay. Anyhow, that is good enough for, for now. Let's uh, get some soda. And... And pop inside. Oh man, Slip stepped out of the way just a little bit too soon. But oh, missed. Well, let's see if we can still snipe. The sniper weapons, they, I mean, sniper uh, rifle, it does not. It's not a very durable gun. Which probably makes sense. It's has to fire with a lot more power, I think, than most guns to, or at least I'm guessing that. Hmm. 
nobody over there. There is somebody over there, though. Got one. And also, weapons that are highly uh, highly damaged, apart from not doing as much damage uh, themselves, they're also... Oh, nice. Blew his head into little bits. But they take longer to reload. now that I think about it, this game might be a pretty bad game if if you were ever actually in a war and suffer from PTSD. But I suspect that if, if you did that, hopefully you're not going to be watching playthroughs of games like this. If you are, my apologies. Okay, let's fix this up. Switch to a pistol. See if there's anything interesting to loot in here. Uh, probably not. Okay. Let's keep on exploring this area that I think raiders have made into their home. Take some of their drugs and caps. I would be reluctant to actually stick a sleeping mat in uh, in the lavatory. Okay, there is somebody on the other side of this. Sometimes the collision detection in this game is a little bit defective. Oh good. Pushing my lockpick skill up over 25 has some benefits because there are a lot of things in things in this game where y it, you're just not going to be able to make it uh, to get a lot of cool stuff unless you can pick pick locks. Let's see. Do I have a science skill enough to open this terminal? Apparently so. Are you an N-I-N-G? One of the nice things about words ending in ing is you get a pretty decent hint as uh, as to this uh, similarity. If I S H I N G, no. If I S H, okay. So it needs to have more of a similarity in the first four letters than zero. And it's probably this is probably it. No. But if it isn't that, then you can back out and give it another try. Leading. Okay, this time it's not an ing. L-E-A-D-I-N-G. Stories would be consistent, but isn't. L-E-A-D-I-N-G. S-T-O-R-I-E-S. Oh, interesting. This is not the most exciting part of a game, but let's give it this time. Stating? No, it's not an ing. Okay, S-T-A-T-I and fortify. R-T-I-F-Y. Sweet. And you can also get experience for successful hack attempts, which is kind of nice. And that just opened a lock somewhere. Just I'm not entirely certain how tough my uh, RL3 is, so I, I want to keep an eye on him to make sure that he doesn't get killed too easily. Uh, tin cans are useful because eventually you learn to make grenades with them. Airway spikes.
Yeah, I'm not going to have a weapon that can shoot railway spikes for a little while, but they are a really nice weapon. So we're going to keep on collecting tin cans, sensor modules, occasionally lunch boxes, because you can make nice mines out of lunch boxes. Mini nuke. Well, that is nice if you ever get uh, the needed weapon to fire it. Interesting. P A G E S. Two similarities. Sweet. And eventually you kind of get the hang of these. It does take a little bit of time to really figure out how that stuff works, but. Um, Loading personality. Rob Go. R04 B9. Office helper. Running default office protocol. Care for. Playing games with me, goddammit. Care for. Attention. Made in the USA. Now. Okay, more stuff, most of which we're probably going to sell. You're always looking for for stuff to sell in this game, at least early on. Later on, when you have better barter skills and when you've gotten your, your hands on some things that sell for more, you don't need to worry quite as much. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that takes care of him. Oh, I think I see with my little eye somebody... Oh, two of them. Let's see if we can... T Shice. Yeah, so the game is often highly hilarious. At least partly because... Yeah, they, they just, they spend a lot, uh, they have a lot of characters that are real characters. Time to tear you apart. Oh, really? Is that the best you can do? Wow, three punches to the head with my, uh, with my spiked knuckles. Well, that is good. Ah, and there is one of those mines that you can make if you have the right recipe and and the right materials. Really, explosives, it's a fun way to play the game. You're, you're going to have trouble relying exclusively on explosives, but relying moderately on them, a blast. Ha, 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 ha. I think this place is probably empty of of threats at this point, so I can probably walk around freely. Let's see if I can find some of those some of the bodies of the people that I killed. Okay, let's see. Oh, maybe not. Gotcha. Oh, and she only had a pistol, which helps a lot. Because it means that... And here is the guy I shot from afar. Um, see, was there anyone else over here? I thought there might have been. I suppose it would make sense. If you, if you had chosen as your, as your territory... Uh, a place like this, you probably would want to make it easy to walk around and keep an eye on places. Either that, or you're just going to post people right at the door and rely on that to prevent surprises.
Yeah, nothing left there. Let's see if there's anything in here we want. Got some more darts. Um, hmm. Okay, some stim packs, which are always nice. Let's see. Nice. Laser pistol. Always good to have more of those. Or well, more weapons, I mean. Yeah, you always want to be raising your repair a little bit. Uh, and your... S oh, more your uh, speech. I mean, your sneak is important, too. Let's see if that is good. Um, aha, and that is the skill that we want. Now skill books are doubly effective for me, and I sh am going to feel very free in reading them as soon as I spot them. Okay, so let's do some weight reduction. Brass knuckles versus spike knuckles. Five versus seven. Okay. And eight when I, after I've repaired it. Nice. And a nicer laser pistol. Yeah, the nice thing about laser pistols is that they have a literally instant transit speed. Oh yeah, so let's use that. And that. Okay, that should be should be good. Now we should feel free to head back to town. Always duck when you're leaving. Uh, let's see if there's any. Uh, did I already loot him? Yes, I did. I just didn't take his armor because at this point the armor is not an efficient use of my uh, weight weight limitations. Actually, let's see if, if this guy's house is open now. No. Oh, well. Gotta briefly swing back by my house to pick up all those skill books and use them now that they're doubly effective. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any new bobbleheads. And I can drop off anything that I don't want to sell. Which is basically any components that might be useful for making stuff later. Which is basically the lunchbox. Scrap metal will become useful. The tin can will become useful. The rest of that stuff is not terribly necessary. So we're going to head back out. Oh yeah, let's let's use those skill books. Big guns, it's, it's an interesting category of weapons. There are some giant weapons. The flamethrower, I think it's one of them. There are things that you can use that actually fire nukes. But uh, you won't get a lot of use out of out of big guns until late in the game, and it's not really my style of play. I prefer to do a lot of sniping. So, how's this game? Really? So you're saying that they acqu well keep what you got? Oh. Uh Oh, you're a peach. Now, 200 rad. Okay. So now she wants me to get irradiated. Oh, yes, I'm going 
get rid of all our packs of cigarettes. The food sanitizer is nice. You get more health, I think, or less radiation from any food that you eat uh, that, that has radiation anyhow. And a lot of the preserved food from before the war has radiation. Let's see. Weapons. So I really care about keeping my 308 good. But... Good hunting! Let's see. Can she repair my sniper rifle? Oh, I don't have enough money to repair my snip sniper rifle. Great. Well, let's see. Oh, I forgot to use that. Um, and I have drained her of almost all the weapons. should at least any weapons I do pick up later I should have a reasonable amount of ammo for them which is pretty important and uh, that one of the things about uh, about this game one of the brilliant design decisions I think is that is that by having weapons take damage as uh, as you use them you can't rely on one weapon for the whole game or at least you're gonna have a tough time doing so so, uh, it promotes variety Good in the hunting. game. Now, fortunately, this is a very easy challenge that she's given us. Because all we need to do is get irradiated. And there's actually a pretty decent uh, irradiation source in town. Namely, the pond that is right next to that nuke. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in here and just stand in here. And I think for this quest, let's see, 600 rads is, I believe, what we're looking for. So, we're just going to sit here for a little bit. Yeah, the, the replay value of this game is, is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Release yourself to his power. Feel his glow. Oh yeah, so this and guy really is a fire. bit of a nut. There shall be no tears, no oh, oh yeah, so there, there are apparently some places I can stand in here. We shall see our release which give you two rats per second rather than just one. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow. Burned from you in the fire of... Okay. So that's the first step. I have 200 rads. But in order to get up to 600 rads, I need to get over uh, over that halfway mark. Which, I guess, just gives me a certain amount of time to talk. I wish I could talk without that, without that guy talking. But he's kind of the equ equivalent to... Um, he's kind of the equivalent to that preacher guy in Skyrim and that you get kind of tempted just to knock him off just because he will not shut the hell up. Probably shouldn't do it. It's not a good good marker. I beg of you to use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide and give relief to this rotten flesh. Come on. But yeah, the, the general plot of the game, you're going to be wandering around um, and you eventually find your father and take part in this kind of scientific quest that he has to better the, the lot of the people of the wasteland. And it's not a particularly... It's not a... It's... It involves kind of a lot of pseudo-politics. Because there are various uh, people who have an interest in your father's scientific project. 
uh, it leads to military conflicts, uh, you spend some time uniting factions and dividing them, rise and fall of civilization, same kind of thing that I guess the, uh, the Elder Scrolls games have, in a sense, since you're, you, get, you get to play Kingmaker. But, uh, but yeah, I, it's just that and the replay value, the different decisions that you can make as to who you uh, who you ally yourself with. It, the replay value is fun. Uh, is fun. You get to see a lot of hilarious content that they wrote for the game that you're not going to get to see every time you play. Oh, what's going on up there? Oh, I'm almost irradiated enough to finish this first step. Your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and mm, I guess whatever's going on up there, it's hopefully almost done. And I'm almost irradiated enough. Yeah, Moira, she really is kind of a weird character. I mean, her, her accent reminds me of Sarah Palin, which uh, I guess is, it's not exactly a compliment. Okay, now we're irradiated enough. And I just need to head up and tell Moira. But Moira keeps on putting you in harm's way with her really stupid quests. Oh, so I guess it was the dog interacting with the person. Oh, feel I can now just hold You're a lucky one, you know. Now, after taking a few I've Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation, uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few. Yup. Here for your. The second chapter's, for example. So. Okay, so we now have her next quest. Don't try anything. And and that's pretty much it. She keeps on giving you a bunch of quests that, that kind of ease you into the game. Which is fun, uh, in a sense. Although, if you're in a big rush to just go and do your own thing, you're probably not going to take advantage of this, but... I imagine probably my karma is now positive. Yes, it is. Okay. Those monsters... Those... You won't leave me like all... Those... You... My house is the one close... Please... You know... Oh, maybe this out. will help, and maybe it won't. He trusted me with the key. Well... Hmm, random kid wandering through the wasteland. What could possibly go wrong? Well, neat. So I was given another quest. That should do. Kids in this game are actually invulnerable, which is probably pretty handy for them. Uh, I imagine there are some good political reasons that that is so, since the last thing you really want to do when you're a game manufacturer is have a game where you can kill kids. That'd just be kind of poor taste. Hmm. wonder what this place is. A lot of the buildings around here have doors. Not all of them do. Looks like this is a place without doors. I imagine it was fantastically useful uh, before the war. Oh yeah, so where am I going?
Oh, I'm going across the river. Oh, well, that is not good because the river is a pretty effective barrier. Let's see, is that? That's a bathroom. Oh, here's a wharf. And here is... Well, look at this. But taint none of my bees. Some... Well, she doesn't have a lot to trade. But I can get rid of some of my, uh... Not terribly useful... Drugs. Or a little bit of caps. And it looks like I can cross the bridge and go where I am going next. Which is good, but I think I'm going to do that in the next playthrough because this is getting to be kind of long. Whoa, hello. I guess I am going to scoop up some of these mines first, though. Oh, oof. Did not see that one. Oh, and I see some creatures up ahead. Well, I guess I don't really need to fight them immediately. Is this where I want to be? Tepid sewers? I guess so. Oh, no, that's not actually the right place. Probably not a bad place to be, but anyhow, I'll save that for the next time. I'm Pat Gunn. This has been the third, I believe, uh... Um, third episode of my Let's Play Fallout 3. Goodbye.